What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the tech that I couldn't live without in 2023. These are all the things that I use pretty much every single day throughout the entire year. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So real quick guys, as you guys know, throughout the year you kind of add things to your arsenal. I didn't really have much this year besides the addition of the Apple Watch Ultra, which was an insane, insanely good investment slash purchase. Absolutely loved that thing. So I guess we'll just go ahead and get straight into it. The first thing that I couldn't live without in 2023 was my Apple Watch Ultra. With that being said, I also picked up a new accessory by Sandmark and it was their titanium band. I absolutely loved this thing guys. It made it look sharp. It made it look presentable and wearable in occasions that you know you need to wear like a normal watch and i just didn't feel like taking off my apple watch this has been an awesome addition uh, going back to the actual apple watch ultra that thing stayed on my wrist the entire year i literally only took it off to shower and whenever i would uh get dressed up to go to like an event to go to church or whatever it may be then i would rock a normal watch but other than that my apple watch lived on my hand it's my alarm it's my fitness tracker it's my weather tracker it's it's literally everything. So Apple Watch Ultra, insane, insane purchase. I absolutely have loved it throughout the entire year. Work out with it, run with it, check out weather, check out my health and fitness stats, how tough my days were. I've ridden dirt bikes with it. And to be honest, it's my first Apple product that I've uh, been riding dirty with. And by riding dirty, I mean literally no cases, no protection, no nothing. I literally, this thing has been advertised to be rugged and sturdy and almost like break proof. And honestly, I didn't really think too much of it. I don't have a screen protector on it. I don't have a case on it. I've been rocking it like this. I, like I said, I wear it pretty much every day to work out. I uh, ride dirt bikes, mountain bikes. I've taken some spills with it on and literally it's just gotten a little dust on it and that's about it. So um, yeah, this thing is, is pretty sturdy. It's rugged and, and I absolutely love it. And again, shout out to Sandmark for the titanium band. It just makes my watch it's just so much more presentable uh, whenever I throw that on uh, and I can, you know, just dress up in normal clothes and not feel like I'm, you know, underdressed or one of those people people with an Apple watch just with normal professional clothes. That's that's not a look. <laughs> so get yourself one of these nice bands. Head over to Sandmark's website. Again, thank you guys for sending me that band over. I highly recommend it. It feels like a luxurious band. Make sure it levels up your Apple watch for sure. The next item that I couldn't live without was the iPhone 12 Pro Max, guys. As you guys know, I'm in the Apple ecosystem. I'm currently rocking an Apple iPhone. And for me, the 12 Pro Max is plenty of a phone. I upgraded from an 8 Plus to this 12 Pro Max. And uh, the 12 Pro Max, it's still, it's still kicking. It's still plenty good. We're on the 15 right now. I don't plan on upgrading for at least another two years. And then I'm probably still not even going to need to upgrade, to be 100% honest with you guys. This phone, shoot. 4k 60p video slow-mo it uh, can multitask it runs fast um, it's a big screen awesome FaceTime camera like I don't need all the fancy bells and whistles and honestly who who's upgrading every year on their iPhone I know a ton of people are I'm an Apple fanboy I love the Apple ecosystem but I've just dude I have a plenty good product here and I'm not just gonna go get a new thing because the latest thing and the hottest thing and so and so got the new iPhone like no like I use my technology technology for a purpose and uh if it's still running good then i'm gonna keep using it i'm not gonna upgrade to the latest thing because one thing is new and i have to spend a ton of money on it i can use my money for better things than that so anyways rant over iphone 12 pro max absolutely love this thing you spotify on it whether uh, i work from my phone check emails literally i i can't live without my phone so iphone 12 pro max is the iphone um, of choice Next is the Beats Fit Pro. Now you're probably wondering like why headphones? Headphones are pretty crucial guys, especially for taking phone calls, business calls, Zoom calls, listening to music, workout music. Um, I used to rock the AirPods. They just didn't really cut it for me. I gave them to I gave them to one of my siblings. I'm rocking the uh, Beats Fit Pros and they've done the job for the last year, maybe year and a half actually. I haven't even switched headphones. Um, so these headphones are water resistant. I sweat like, like no other in these and they they, they're awesome. They noise cancel. They have a couple different modes. Um, I have to take them out whenever I mountain bike just so I can kind of hear what's going on in the outside world. Um, but I absolutely love these things. I can't live without them, guys. I use them every single day, like I said, for working out, for taking phone calls, um, for listening to videos. Um, they're always with me, so I definitely can't live without those. 
Next is my M1 Mac Mini, guys. I have the M chip Mac Mini base model. You guys watched the M2 MacBook Air review. I'm on the M1 Mac Mini. I'm editing this video currently on my M1 Mac Mini. This thing is kicking, man. Like, this thing is so powerful. No lag. Does everything I need to do. It allows me to get all my work done. You can't go wrong with it. Like, base model is all you need. I have an external SSD for my footage. And that's what I'm rocking, guys. I'm rocking it on a 1440p monitor. Again, I didn't include that in things I can't live without. I just can't live without this Mac Mini because I work from it. I edit videos from it. I browse the web. I research everyday stuff plus a little bit of creative stuff. And it's so powerful, guys. Like, I'm not going to be upgrading to anything any anytime soon, guys. Again, a raw, honest truth, guys. But definitely couldn't live without that. Next is my Apple iPad Pro 11 inch with the Apple II pencil. That's a little optional, but that's just what I rock. That's my current setup. The iPad Pro, guys, I can't live without it, guys. Like, I literally use it every single day to listen to podcasts, to throw on music, to first and foremost, just my workout timer to read my workouts off of that, which is amazing. And then also just like watch Netflix, YouTube videos. I use my iPad every single day. I also do some photo uh, editing on it. Um, I love this thing. It, it's been such a good purchase. And this isn't even the M1 chip. This is, I think, the Intel one. It's the year right before the M1 chip, and I got a good deal at Costco, and I absolutely have loved it. I've noticed no performance issues on it. It is the 256 gig, I'm pretty sure, and I've absolutely loved it, guys. I can't live without an iPad anymore. Like, I don't see myself not having an iPad. If anything, the only regret on this is not getting the little bit bigger iPad. Next time, I'm for sure getting the, the bigger one, but for right now, this thing's kicking. It's plenty powerful. I absolutely love it. The next thing I can't live without is the Logitech MX Master 2S, which is the mouse and the MX keys, guys. This duo is a powerhouse. It optimizes your workflow on the keyboard, on the editing for tons of things. They're super customizable. You can add shortcuts, different things like that. I absolutely love them. I switch between my Mac, my work computer, my iPad. It's, it's just a no-brainer for me. I believe it's $100 for the combo. You can't go wrong with it, guys. Worth every single penny. But yeah, that's pretty much my 2023 tech that I couldn't live without, guys. Again, everyone has different rigs, different setups, different pieces of tech. And don't feel bad because someone has a better piece, quote unquote, better piece of equipment. And by better, I mean, let's say you have the Intel chip, uh, MacBook Pro, and someone else has an M M1. Like, if your computer's still running good, that's all you need. If it's getting the job done, that's all you need, guys. Don't feel bad. Literally, whatever is getting the job done for you that you're happy with and you're pretty stoked on, that's all that matters. Don't be comparing yourself to people i know the uh, tech space on youtube it, it's kind of toxic no one really talks about it like it's all the latest and greatest stuff and if you're into getting the latest and greatest then awesome but if you're just like tech enthusiast and you need tech to get stuff done to get work done and your current piece of equipment is a little outdated but it's getting stuff done then awesome if it's outdated to the point to where it's inhibiting your workflow to where it's inhibiting you know um your life then definitely upgrade that's when upgrades are needed guys i didn't have an apple watch i used a normal fitness tracker that i was just kind of over and that's why i got the apple watch look at my iphone it's it's on the 12 and the 12 is still fairly new in my opinion it gets everything that i need done i'm not going to be upgrading anytime soon look at my headphones guys i don't have the latest and greatest apple airpod pros shoot these are beats fit pros but they're good for fitness they're good for my lifestyle and guess what i got them on sale at walmart they were a hundred dollars it's all about saving money it's all about living um within your means within your own lifestyle uh you know tech that you're actually going to use tech that's going to help you level up because that's what technology is for it's to help you advance it's helped to advance uh you know the human race and uh, it's it's to help you advance in general so as long as uh the, your tech is helping you advance then so be it guys again i absolutely love all the tech that i used in 2023 i didn't really need to upgrade anything literally besides the watch guys and i don't really see myself upgrading to anything crazy or fancy in 2024 you know things come up and you know you kind of get uh get get a little itchy to try something new but you know you can always try it out if you don't like it return it save some money but yeah that's pretty much gonna do it for this video guys these are all things that i used every single day in 2023 no exaggeration guys what are you guys using every single day what phone you rocking what computer you guys rocking i'm always interested to know if you're rocking the apple watch ultra let me know what your favorite apps are on that thank you guys so much for tuning in i can't believe 2023 is coming to an end tons of awesome tech came out this year tons of awesome you know new advancements going on and there's a lot to come in 2024 so stick around guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button guys i'll catch you guys in the next one